Hello, welcome to English Year 5. We're still in Unit 5, Food and Health. Today, we're going to focus on the verb plus the ing. You can refer to your textbook page 57. Look at the examples. You have three examples. Let's read. Do you prefer sitting on the sofa or going out? I like playing video games, but I also like going out. I like running and swimming. Okay, if you notice this, the red colored words, you can see ing. Okay, sitting, going, playing, going, running, and swimming. Okay, we're going to learn why we have the ing here. Okay, look at the words in front. See, prefer sitting. I prefer going out, like playing, like going out, like running, and swimming. So from the example just now, we can say that after the word like, love, enjoy, prefer, dislike, hate, don't mind, the verb that come after this word must have ing. Okay, you have to remember this rule. Okay. You have to bear in mind the spelling of the ing forms of the verbs. You cannot simply put the ing. Okay, for example, if the verb ends in e, you have to drop the e and add ing. Okay, for example, write. You have the E. So you drop this E, then you put ING, so it will become writing. Another example, tag. E again. You drop this E, you put the ING, so it becomes taking. Another example, have. You drop the E, you put the ING, and it will become having. Another spelling rules for this is the one syllable verb that ends in vowel plus the consonant. Okay, what does this mean? You have to remember that vowel is A E I O U. Consonant means like B, C, D, F, G, H, okay, and so on. Okay, other than A E I O U, they are consonant. Okay, so if you see the, the verbs that ends in this vowel and consonant, so you have to double the consonant, then you add ing. Okay, for example, run. You see, u is the vowel, this is the consonant. So you have to double the n. Okay, it will become running. Seed, again, you have the vowel and the consonant. Vowel i, consonant t. Put the ing, double this t, so become sitting. Swim, see, vowel, consonant. The i is the vowel, consonant is m, so you double the m, put the ing, so it become swimming. Okay, this is an extra for you. If the verb ends in vowel and consonant with stress on the final syllable. Just now we are talking about one syllable. Now you have more than one syllable. Okay. So you double the final consonant if the stress is on the final syllable. For example, begin. You stress on gin. So you have to double the end. Okay, you have the vowel and consonant. So you double the end. It will become beginning because you stress on the gin. Begin. So you say beginning, double the end. Otherwise, you cannot double the consonant. Okay? If the stress is not, it's not on the final syllable. Okay? For example, like remember. You don't say burr. Burr. You don't stress the burr. You only stress the mem. Remember, so you cannot double the last letter.
Look at this table. You can see all these verbs. Okay, you have love, like, prefer, hate, don't mind. Prefers, loves, likes, hates, doesn't mind. If you notice this, this one do not have S. And the bottom one, you have S. Okay, what does this mean? It means that if it is plural, subject, so the verb does not have S. If the subject is singular, so the verb must have S. So this tag, the same structure of the simple present. If it's plural, I, you, we, they, these are plural subjects. So the verb, you cannot put S. He, she, it. They are singular subjects. So the verb must have S. You have to remember this. And after this verb, whether you have S or no S, the verb, another verb that follow after it, must have ing okay love playing like getting up prefer sitting head revising don't mind cycling prefers eating loves meeting likes drinking hates chatting doesn't mind helping so all this one the verb that come after these verbs love like prefer head don't mind or prefers with the s loves likes hates or doesn't mind all this one must have ing the verb after it Okay, and we have the complement. Okay, remember, you have to know the subject and then whether you have to put S or no S. After that, the verb must have ING and must follow the spelling rules. Okay, let's ask and answer, do you like? Okay, we're going to ask Julie. Molly and Ben. Okay. Help at home. Okay. Julie may, might think, oh, don't mind. Also, she put one star. Uh, look at the table here. Okay. Don't mind. But Molly and Ben oh, put three stars because they love helping at home. Julie walk to school. Mm, Julie said, oh, I like. So, she put two stars. Molly and Ben across. That means the head walking to school. So, how to ask the question? So, you have Do you like helping at home, Julie? And Julie said, I don't mind helping at home. Do you like helping at home, Molly and Ben? May say, Oh, we love helping at home. Do you like walking to school, Julie? Julie said, I like walking to school. Do you like walking to school, Molly and Ben? Oh, they said, we had walking to school. So, this one we give with plural subject. I, we, you see, I, we. That's why we don't have S. I don't, we love, I like, we had. Then, all of it, the word that come after this, you have ing, okay? Now, if you write in sentence form like begin with the name Julie, and uh, now you have to the s. Julie is singular, so Julie doesn't mind helping at home. Molly and Ben is plural, so love no s. So Molly and Ben love helping at home. Julie is singular again, so likes must have s. Julie likes walking to school. Molly and Ben is plural, so head no S. Molly and Ben, head walking to school. Alright, for your practice, let's do workbook page 57. Exercise 1, 2, and 3. Exercise 1. You have to complete the sentences using the ing form of the verbs in the brackets. Means the words in the bracket, watch, you have to put ing, so become watching. Number one, sweep, put the ing, become swimming, do, doing, number two, number three, sit, sitting, 
Number four, help. Helping. Number five, revise. Revising. Number six, play. Playing. Number seven, circle. Circling. And number eight is eating. Okay, you have to put ing, but bear in mind the spelling rule. When do you need to double the final consonant? And remember, if it's E, what should you do? Refer back to the spelling rule. Why should we put the ing again? I want to remind you because of the word like. That's why we put ing. See? Number one, you have love. Number two, you have like. Number three, you have lights. Number four, you have doesn't mind. Number five, you have head. Uh, number six, prefer. You have to get the nearest one. Okay. Number seven, love. And number eight, you have heads. Okay. Because of this word, that's why the word in the bracket, you must put ing. Exercise 2, you look at the table and write sentences with this word. Hate, don't mind, light and love. Okay, look at the stars. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, if it's cross, it's head. If one star, it's don't mind. Two stars, light. Three stars, love. Okay, after that, you have to plus ing. It means that get must become getting. Okay? So, get, you must put ing, getting. Circle, circling. Chat, chatting. Play, playing. Okay, example. Harry doesn't. Why become doesn't? Not don't. Because Harry is singular. Okay? If Harry alone is singular, so all this one, the word, head become heads. You have to put s. Don't become doesn't. Harry doesn't mind. Harry has. Harry likes. Harry loves. You must put S. Not for Megan and Hannah. They are. This one is plural. So you cannot say Megan and Hannah hates. Just no S. Only for Harry. It's singular. So you put S. Remember this. Okay, exercise 3. You have to write about things you like or don't like doing at these different times. You have different times here given. Use the words to help you. Okay, for example, on Saturday given. You see on Saturdays? Okay, on Saturdays. Start with this time. Okay, on Saturdays. So, write on Saturdays. After you write on Saturdays, must put comma. Okay, and then you say, I love. I hate. I like. I don't mind. Okay, refer to uh, like what Julie said just now. Okay, so after you said this, uh, give the ing. Remember, you have the ing. Whether you love, you you like, you prefer, you, do, you don't mind, and so on, must have ing. Okay, and the compliment. Okay, again, another example is at the weekends. You see, at the weekends is the time. So, you start with the time. After time, you have to put comma. Okay, you start with I again. And then, uh, this one, don't mind. See, don't mind. Okay, after that, the verb with ing. Don't mind. Helping. Okay, helping what? Okay, with the compliment. So, you do the rest. Uh, choose few more different times and write what you like and don't like doing. Okay? Don't like, don't mind, hate, like, love, prefer. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you write six sentences. Okay, for this. Then that's all for today. I hope you can uh, understand the use of verb ing. Okay, and you can do this exercise. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Bye.